this video is going to be part one of how I get information into my thought stream. So in yesterday's video, we looked at how I collect all my thoughts in a second brain. And at the beginning of each morning and the beginning of each day, I get a text message reminding me of the thoughts from the previous day to help amplify and expand on my creative thinking. So how do I get it in? Well, I have to credit my friend Joel for teaching me how to do this. On iPhones, we have the shortcuts. And within that, I've created a new shortcut called text thoughts. And you can see when I open that up, I can put in any text that I like. So uh, thought stream. Oops. <laughs> and click done. And that's all sent. So let's look behind the hood. If we click on those three dots there. We've got an input here of receiving information that is a text, and then it's sending that text to a webhook, which is on active pieces. So in part two of this video tomorrow, we'll look at how we take that information and send it to the second brain. So how do you set one up? Well, you click the little act add button and there's so many different things that you can do with this, but this is pretty interesting. So you can just search for text, and that brings up the little text bubble. And our next action is going to be a URL and we're gonna click on the get contents of URL. And within that, we're just gonna be editing here. We're gonna send it to post. We're gonna be doing a JSON and we actually enter the webhook into the URL section there. And then in the field, we're gonna add a text field and the key can be thought and the text is actually going to be the text file. So this is quite similar to make or active pieces where we are sending variables through a webhook. So really all it is, is we have the text input at the top and then we are sending the contents through the webhook URL. So put in your webhook URL there and we're using a post, a JSON body type and then adding a variable as thought and text. And that's it. You can then add it to your home screen. So if we go back to my text thought on the bottom, you've got a little I button and it says add to home screen. You can click on that and you can open it up simply from your phone. You can add any thoughts that you like and those will then be sent through this webhook. So tomorrow we will continue in capturing that information, that webhook in active pieces and then transferring it to our second brain. I'm just starting to scratch the surface with Apple shortcuts. I think it's a fascinating world. It's like a make.com system right in our phones. So I'd love to hear if you've got a really cool shortcut. As always, any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.